Adipage Fusion Templates are awesome because they save you so much time by getting you about 90% of the way there. Then you just have to change a couple of the settings and you're good to go. But sometimes you always have that certain template that you make the same changes to every single time. Like changing the colors to match your brand, or in the case of my editor collection tools, the animation controls. Instead of making those same changes every time, today I have a free tool that's going to work with any Fusion template from any company or creator. The new tool allows you to take an existing template, make a couple of changes, and then save it as your own. That way you don't have to make those changes every single time that you want to use it. Let's check it out. So this tool is extremely easy to use and install thanks to Asher Roland who helped me develop it. He makes some pretty cool stuff, so check it out down below. With DaVinci Resolve open, just switch over to the Fusion page. Then you just need to drag this installer file into the Fusion no graph. Once you do that, it's going to have this little pop-up just telling us it's not installed and we can just press this install button and just like that, it's going to put that into the program. To make sure it actually works, come up to Workspace, come down to Scripts, and make sure it says Whip Re Macro somewhere in this list. If it didn't, you might just have to restart DaVinci Resolve. Also, Fusion Macros and Templates are the same thing, so as I call them different things, it's all the same. So first, let's take a look at my Whip Zoom tool. So that's in the Effects Library. I can just drag this down onto the timeline, and what this does is just creates a simple zoom animation with a bunch of controls in the inspector. The default animation is one second. It animates in, and then at the end, it's going to animate out. Let's say every time I use it, I just want it to be half a second second long. So in the inspector, I can come over here, set the animation length to be 0.5. Now it's going to be a little bit faster. I'm also going to turn off the out animation, and you'll see why in a second, and then set the motion blur to be 0.4. So now we have a little bit of motion blur at the beginning. So that was all pretty easy to do, but when you have to do it 20 or 30 times in each project, it gets a little annoying. To save this as a custom template, press this go to fusion button in the top right of the inspector. What you're going to want to do is copy the actual node. So in this case, whip zoom, I'm just going to click on that and then copy it, then come up to workspace, come down to scripts and run the whip re macro script. That's going to give us another pop-up window, and this is really easy to use. The first thing we want to do is give it a name, so I'm going to call this Whip Zoom in fast. That way it's going to be easy to find in the effects library. I also have the option to add a preview image. So if I do this, I can just hit browse, click on an image, and then hit open. Now this image does need to be a PNG, and I'll show you an easy way to make those in just a few minutes. So once we have the name and the preview image selected, let's just hit the save button, and it's going to open up a window asking us where we want to save it. This should always match the location of the original template. So a title is going to go in the titles folder, an effect is going to go in the effects folder, and in this case, a generator is going to go in the generators folder. Once in here, I can save it as is, or I can put it in another folder to help with organization. In this case, I'm going to put it in Whip Templates, and I'm going to make a new folder called Custom Tools. Once I go into that folder, I'm just going to click Save, and then a lot of times DaVinci Resolve is just going to hang up for a second. It's just going to freeze, and that's because it is loading that effect into the effects library. Once that's done, we can just switch back over to the edit page, and under Effects, click on Generators, and now you can see under Custom Tools, I have that new tool with the image and everything. If this doesn't show up right away, sometimes you just need to restart DaVinci Resolve. And now I can drag this down onto the timeline, and right away it's going to have all of those changes that we made applied by default. I also made those same changes to my Whip Pivot tool, so now watch what you can do. I can just drag down Whip Zoom and have it zoom into a set spot on the screen. Let's say I zoom into the viewer. And now if I wanted to move over to the inspector, I'm going to grab Whip Pivot, and in the inspector, press this Match button, and then grab the End Pivot and make sure this is off on the right. So now what we have, it's going to zoom in, and then it's going to pan over to whatever we set this end pivot to. And I can keep going as long as I want for this. So down at the end here, I could grab another whip pivot, hit that match button, and then move the end pivot and bring this all the way down to the bottom left corner. So now it's going to zoom in, it's going to pan over, and then it's going to go all the way down to the bottom. Then at the very end, I could add in another whip zoom, press this match button, and set the end size to be 1. Now right at the beginning, it's going to zoom out back to the full view. So this is going to take already really powerful and really good tools and make them work way better inside of your workflow. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say you have a title that you use at the beginning of every single video. Maybe you want it to show the lesson title, and you have a certain font that you really like to use. Once you go through and customize everything to exactly how you like it, you can just press that Go to Fusion button. But before you save it, let's make a thumbnail. So I like to use just the exact title, and then after the node, do Shift Space Type Transform, so that way we can make this a little bit bigger, that way it's easier to see. And now anywhere in the viewer, just right click and then do Save Image. Like I mentioned, this does need to be a PNG, so usually I just name it thumbnail.png, you gotta make sure you add that at the end, and then click save. Now let's copy the node, go up to workspace, scripts, and run the script. Let's give it a name, so let's do lesson title template, and for the preview image, we can select that image that we just made. Now when you hit save, we want to save this into the titles folder, and I'm just gonna do into whip templates. 
And once you give DaVinci Resolve just a second to import that, you can see we have the lesson title template right here and we can drag that down and it has all those changes already applied. I really hope that you can see the power of this tool. And like I said, it's available for free. So check out the link down below to download this today. And if you like some of the other templates you see, such as those zooms and pivots and the corner camera that I use throughout this video, check out my editor collection pack also linked down below. It is a huge time saver and easily pays for itself. There's also the editor titles pack, so check that out as well. If you guys have any questions about the pack, please let me know. Thanks to Asher again for helping me make this project possible, and I'll see you guys in the next video.